Uh, I've got here some basswood that I'm going to make a, a chub swim bait out of. Um, I already did some stuff off camera like draw the stencil for it. Uh, let me just grab that. Draw the stencil for it and everything. It's going to be like 8 inches long. Yeah, about 8 inches. Um, I th think. Yeah, about 19 centimeters, 20 inches kind of. Um, yeah, drew that on there, um, drew the kind of, or well, started sawing the um, the angled lines for the separation and drew the top profile on it and stuff. Uh, it, it was just really difficult to try and film me cutting it. Cutting it. Um, but yeah, I made a bit of a, there's quite a big gouge out of the side, which I'm pretty, pretty annoyed about, but I think where it is, it'll get either kind of sanded out or um, if not, I'll just have to fill it in with some wood filler or something. But, yeah. We'll just have to see how it goes. I'm going to, um, just trying to think about how to do this now. Because I don't have a bandsaw. Just got a handsaw, which is why it's a bit, you know, wonky and stuff. But these are, these two lines here where it's going to split are, um, they're good. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out whether it would be easier to cut the, top profile before I cut the side profile um, I think it might be easier to do the top first and then the side yeah okay I'm gonna do that Just got the first side off, and um, it's pretty safe to say that my skills with a handsaw are just atrocious. I mean, look at that. That is awful. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to continue, to be honest. I think I've absolutely butchered this. Um, but I'll just carry on going and see what I can do but that is that is shameful that is so bad look at that now why could I not do that the first few times I was sawing look at how clean that is perfect wedge okay so now what I'm gonna do oh god that looks horrible I'm gonna have to grind that out I say grind sand that out that's um it's fixable it's fixable. I think we can still work with this. Uh, what I'm going to do now is um, is just stick this back on, and now try and saw out um, what's it called? This yeah, you, you'll see what I'm on about if I haven't explained that well. You'll see. Quick change in plan uh, because I don't trust my sawing abilities um, I think a better way of doing this is to just drill holes all around and then use a smaller drill bit which I'm about to change to now and then just drill around and then uh, I'll be able to take these big chunks off and then just use the sander and then just sand it smooth and then just redraw the uh, top profile and then I can sand to it if that makes sense um, there's not really a way that I can set up the camera to show me drilling the holes, but um, yeah, I'll show that once it's all drilled out.
Well, um, I guess it worked. It's not really um, what I imagined it would look like, but I reckon she's ready for the mantle, to be honest. It's a showpiece right here. Alright, uh, this is where we're at now. As you can see, um, large, large improvement from where it were. Um, before going, well, before I spent about an hour painstakingly sanding it um, on the belt sander, it's starting to, it's not quite there yet, but I think, you know, where it's still a bit rough, like um, on the front. Um, I want to just kind of refine that by hand, I think, and then on the sides as well, where it's it's not quite even yet, and then there's still uh, still kind of a don't know what you would call it there, but there's still a, a step, I guess. I'll just kind of refine that by hand. Um, but whilst it's still square, I'm going to mark out where I want the hook hangers to go, and then uh, draw those out so that they're nice and centered. I've had a little think about this, and um, there's a few adjustments that I want to make. I want to bring. Uh, let's get focused. I want to bring um, this back down a little bit more, so then it will give it a little bit more shape, and it won't be so kind of flat along the top. Um, and also, I'm going to redraw my chamfer lines to give it more kind of like a rounded. Um, appearance because it is very flat and blocky so I'm going to get those drawn in and then sand that down on the sander and then fix the front of the head get that rounded out a bit more um, get that looking nice and then um, carve the chamfers
Um, gone ahead and sanded it down to a point that I'm happy with, so uh, I traced on the details. Uh, what I'm going to try to do here um, is kind of hollow this out a little bit, like the inside of its mouth, and then have the, the line tie coming out of the mouth. I think that'll look pretty cool if it goes the way that I want to, but so far with this lure, everything, like with every step, uh, there's just been some kind of complication. It's um, not really wanted to be made, it seems. But, um, oh, also another thing that I did, um, just mixed up some sawdust from sanding it, like the real fine dust, just mixed that together with some super glue and then just pasted it in there and now just sanded that flush. So, yeah, there you go. So that's all sorted. And then this little crack here will just get filled in when I um, waterproof it and everything. So I'm not really too fussed about that. It's, it's very superficial. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start carving the, uh, the head, I guess. Uh, also with the eyes, um, they were too far forward, so I'm going to have to uh, find centre again on here, and then we'll just drill those out. Uh, and then I'm also going to have to bring this down. It's a bit more of a, a bit more of a curve, I think. But I like how kind of blocky it is because that's kind of how Chubb's heads are. They're just kind of very. They're not as like thin and flat as like a roach or a rud they're very kind of stout i think the word is just they just have like chunky heads but yeah i'll get started and carve it about to drill um, out the new eye socket I've gone ahead and just put like a little bit of uh, super glue on there and just kind of rubbed it in let that soak in and dry done the same on the other side um, that's just to prefer that's just to prevent the wood kind of tearing out just because that sometimes happens when you're using a bigger drill bit so I'm gonna start off just by drilling um, a smaller hole just for the tip of the bigger drill bit to fit into otherwise you know it could skate around and stuff and i really don't want that to happen with all this like detail that i've just done to just ruin it okay moment of truth That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. But hopefully it goes okay on this side.
Okay, yet another thing has um, gone wrong when making this. Um, for some reason, me adding the weights and seeing how much weight it needed uh, didn't record. So, um, I, I've done that, but there's no recording of it, so that sucks. Um, so what I'm, I've got like the lead inside, um, and then it all smoothed over and everything. Sanded it down again so that it's ready for painting. And now I'm just making a, a scale template. Because um, I do have some kind of scales, but... I don't know how well, how well this is picking up, but... They're just too small for a lure like this big, I think. And especially um, for a chub, who, you know, has got like big big scales like a carp so um i just found a, a scale pattern on google images and just cutting it out i'm not too sure how well this is going to work yet to be honest but yeah i guess we'll just have to find out Just went ahead and glued the eyes in off camera because I have like a tendency to uh, get glue on my finger and then touch the eye and then super glue the eye to my finger and um, yeah I just really need to focus but it's come out super super nice so I'm just going to put it on the um, on the rack with some clear coats and I'm hoping it goes well because something has gone wrong at every step making this thing so i'm just dreading putting the clear coat on to be honest um there's like the painting came out pretty good but there's some like minor 
defects like there you can see some of the paint that's kind of come off i think the stencil still was a bit wet when i peeled it off which is a bit annoying but i'm not i'm not too pressed about it and then like down there um it wasn't as smooth as i thought it was like i couldn't feel that with my finger but i guess you know the paint shows up every single little minor detail but and like that scratch on the side there where it's just like half a millimeter deep but other than that i'm uh i'm super pleased with this so you'll find out i guess how the clear coats go in the next part of the video so at this point in time i have no idea how it's going to go i'm hoping that it goes well the um first layer actually went on pretty good um there's no issues with it that i can see so that's pretty good um so i'm just about to add another layer just another clear coat just to smooth it all out make it even more even but i'm pleased that there's not been any issues with this clear coat